trees are part of the general scenery around us. In this paper, we demonstrate how 3D dynamic tree models can be made from just a single video like the one shown here. We use video as a source because it captures realistic appearance and motion. We first produce a static model using the initial video frame as a reference. Afterwards, the model is animated using motion extracted from the original video. Given one model, the system can automatically generate many unique trees of the same species. Our modeling step only needs a 2D skeleton to work. We automatically extract it from the video using off-the-shelf methods. To make a 3D skeleton, the 2D skeleton is first copied into new planes. The branches are pushed away from the planes to make a convincing 3D skeleton. Our method finds the optimal skeleton shape using a Bayesian-based approach. Once a 3D skeleton has been made, leaves can be added. Our output model matches the reference image from the front and has a natural appearance from all other angles. Next, we add motion to the model. We reconstruct motion in 3D by tracking the tree moving in the source video. The basic idea is that the 3D tree should always project onto its moving 2D skeleton, but this simple method can bend and twist branches out of shape. This problem is illustrated on the right. Our method makes sure the 3D tree moves in accordance with the video whilst keeping its branches looking natural. We compare the results before and after our Bayesian process. Here we show the moving model alongside the reference video. One important feature of our system is it does not require new video to make a new tree. Instead, the existing model is used to populate new ones. We generate new trees first in 2D by growing them into an outline. We also make sure the bifurcation shapes in the new tree match those from the existing example tree by statistical sampling. The 2D trees are converted into 3D using our previously described Bayesian method. To make the new trees move, we extract the dominant frequencies of the swaying branches in the example. Statistical sampling is again used to make sure the tree's movement looks similar to the example. Next, we compare our results to alternative methods and explain how user control can be easily embedded. Our output model matches the reference image from the front and has a natural appearance from all other views. In this comparison, our tree appears more realistic when viewed from the side. Our method is also able to preserve more natural branch patterns. Here we show the comparison in detail. Here we show a motion reconstruction. Notice the complex movement and the cluttered background in the scene. Here we show the motion in detail. Here we compare our result with others. Due to the tracking noise, deterministic approaches can bend branches out of shape. Here we highlight the central trunks for comparison. Now we compare the branch details. A 3D deterministic method bends and twists the branches out of shape. Dina's method also produces branches that divert from the real movement. In contrast, our method keeps the branches in realistic shapes and motion. Dina et al. constrain the motion into 2D, so they cannot model 3D movement. This is more apparent from the side view. In comparison, our method is able to change the depth of the tree. In conclusion, 
The ability to model and animate environmental features like trees is important to many interesting applications. Our method makes the process easy and convenient. 